Hey YouTube, how's it going? Ah, oh, man, <laughs> I had a fun day. It is, uh, I believe like 8 o'clock now. Uh, 8.32. And it is uh, Saturday, April, no, oh, sorry. Yes, April. What is it, like the 18th? I don't know, it's April something. Um, today, I had the four-wheeler, you know, on the outside of the garage here. Um, as you know in my other video, it was tarped up. Well, I decided to, it was a nice day earlier, untarp it and bring it in the garage. So I brought it in the garage. Flat tires, as usual, were just the front two. The back two are a little low, but not as much just to get it in here um, the guy that one of the CDI boxes and you know the uh, I think he needed this and this I don't know um, his phone number got disconnected you know like oh I did not pay phone minutes or something I don't know so I sent him an email didn't get a response yet uh, we were going to go today, but like I said, I didn't get a response. Might go like next week or something. And so, this is my gas can, piece of shit, old one. Yeah, got to get a new sticker for this year. It still says 2012. Uh, I was going to drain the gas out of the snowmobile, or yeah, snowmobile, or sled or whatever. And uh, I totally, totally forgot about it. Come home. You know, we'll park over there by uh, where the trailers are. And I come around the corner where the truck is. I'm like, what the fuck's over there? Whoops. Forgot about the gas can. Good thing it wasn't raining. I'm surprised no one stole it. No one was home. No one. But yeah, no one was home. No one stole it either, which was unsurprised. Um, we have the gas tank on. The um, There's one hose down here. Sorry, you can't see it because this light's out. There's one hose down here that is on. The other hose... Uh, where the hell is it? Right here. We said screw it because there's only a hose... There's a gallon of so in here. And we will tell the guy, whoever gets it, if it's this guy or a different guy, that there is one hose missing. So, we got the tank on. What I gotta do next is, uh, put, I guess they call it, like, the grab bar, where the plate goes, you know, over there. That has to go back on. The seat goes on, and, uh, we try putting the headlight on, but, uh, you notice, one, uh, this here is missing. Yeah. We tried putting it on and we tried putting the headlight on, but that doesn't work. So we might take it to lacrosse or wherever we're gonna be taking it to, just like this. So the seat, the grab bar and everything will be like that. And uh we have to tighten these handlebars. But other than that, everything uh is here. Yeah, so not a lot of work to do yet. And then uh, possibly taking the carburetor off that four-wheeler and rebuilding. Well, not rebuilding it, but uh, uh, cleaning it. So, I, I didn't try starting it today. I might, but it's a little late. Might make a lot of noise, I don't know. Where are the keys? The keys are in the house. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, and we, uh, well, I hot glued it we got this back on so it's on the plastic is glued on pretty good I guess so that's on um, 
Yeah, we just started that yesterday, so I don't have to do another cold start. That is going to be a mega cold start, because that's been sitting since last year. I think, like, November. That's, this four-wheeler has been started, oh, good, a uh, few months ago, I think. I think it was, uh... Before I broke up with Mal no, I'm sorry, Kayla. So it would have been January or the beginning of February, because we broke up uh, like a couple days before Valentine's Day. So it would have been a couple days there. So about a month ago or so, I believe. I don't know. Yeah. Just an update. Oh, and uh, the lawnmower as well. I got all this crap here. A plastic black tarp there that goes for the four wheeler. I gotta put that away. The uh, I call it air pump, you know, this thing here. This thing's a piece of crap, but it works. It makes this weird, funny noise sometimes when it uh, has too much air, it makes this whine, whine noise. This little tire here is broke, still turns. Yeah, when it's inside the garage here. And I want to uh, fill up the tire. It makes a really loud noise. Like an, an echo, really. Oh, here's my light. Well, I can show you what I'm talking about. There. See what I mean about the hose? Yeah. Yep. Got to put a bolt there, too. And, uh, there, you know, those two bolts there and that bolt right there, that's the starter. Now, I'm still thinking about, uh, I just got home today from Winona, had a blast, had a great time actually, bought uh, a shirt, a really nice shirt, it was like eight bucks, damn, they're usually like, 10 to 15 maybe $16 for a shirt. This one was extra large. I don't really need extra large anymore. I'm probably just with a large now because I'm losing some weight. But um, extra large. It was red. It had some kind of lettering on, the, on it. I don't remember it. It's in the house. That was $8.97 plus tax. I think they're taxing clothes and a pair of jeans. I don't know what kind. I think they were Wranglers. Pretty nice. That was ten bucks. So uh, after that, let's see what else I buy. A water. Well, not a water. It was like a some kind of energy drink. It was a dollar or so. And then I go to Taco Bell and uh, um. Let's check the battery. My yeah, battery is fine. Go to Taco Bell. I order, I guess it's called like a double taco. You have a soft shell with hard shell and um, a bag of chips. That was like two something. That wasn't that great. So I had to order something else. So. I can hear you out here. second. I think I left something in here. Mm, here it is. No, that's Ben's. Here it is. My drink. Okay, so yeah, I opened the door. I thought it was Logan or Ben. I'm like, I can hear you out here, and that was my neighbor. Yeah. Um, that was a uh, taco. 
and a bag of chips. I didn't really fill me up at all, so I had to go get a nacho grande, and I ate that probably like 15, 20 minutes ago. It was only like three bucks. I think it was three. Yeah, three something. Because I didn't order the drink. I already had a drink. Um, and when I was sitting there, battery life on your charge. When I was sitting at Taco Bell, these uh, three girls, or young ladies, I should say. Hold on one second. These three young ladies, being respectful, and they're you know pretty cute. Ah, uh, god damn it! Hold on. My battery is flashing. It ain't cool. There we go. There. I took my tripod inside. Oh well. These three young ladies, they were cute. Being respectful. And, um, sorry, you might not see me. And, um, I think they were staring at me. Or at Ben. Or at Logan. I don't know. Hold on a second. Yeah. I don't know what they were doing. But, uh, yeah. Excuse me. After, uh, leaving Taco Bell, I showed Mom my shirt. And they went shopping, and we went home. I tell ya. Wabasha, Minnesota to Winona seems freaking far. Seems like six hour drive. When it was only at least a half hour drive. The way Ben drives. I can get here to Winona in 30 minutes. So yeah, I guess the way like Ben drives too. And that Walmart. Oh my god. My friend Logan. Loves to shop, I guess. Grab her shit and leave, you know. Uh, clothes, clothes, clothes. Girls clothes all the time. She was supposed to pay me the $14. But me being a good friend. Loving her like a sister, basically. I said, give me the 7 bucks. Well, she didn't have any big change. I mean, sorry, little change. She just had big bills. So I said, you know, just uh, pay me when you can. Just for, like, I think she bought four items. Seventy bucks. Uh, some girl clothes. Don't know what the price was. Four waters. Some kind of, kind of water. It's like energy water. Different than mine. That was expensive. And uh, some other things I don't know on a phone. I think it was a, not a phone card. Uh, something for her PS3. It was like 20 bucks. So, yeah, she spent all her money. And only had a little bit enough for tacos. So I said, pay me next week. And if you don't, it will be $14. She agreed to that one. So I got to wait a week, which I don't care really. As long as she pays me back. But I don't want to get paid back three months from now, you know. And I'll probably be seeing her next week. So, uh, people we were at sitting at the uh, subway. People there, they're really nice. <sighs> These uh, folks, folks sitting there. Uh, one was sitting on a computer, and there were three of them sitting at having a lunch, I believe. <sighs> one time, just five ten minutes I'd say maybe even a half hour after we sat there they all turned around and looked at me Ben and Logan I think they were looking at us or something I don't know why I caught the eye I'm like what are you doing are you staring at me if you stare at me I'll stare at you and I'll yell at you like back the fuck off not being rude and uh um walking around Walmart for like, I don't know, 
at least a half hour looking for my mom and my dad and my dad and my sister were gone and my mom was walking around Walmart and going to find her. Eventually we found her at the electronics section. I was going to buy a $30 pair of boots, but again, what am I going to need with boots? It's summer, you know? I mean, boots are really cool. You know, the kind I was going to get, they were pretty cool, but $30? No, thank you. You know, if they were like 25 yeah. You know? I mean, I'll spend 30 bucks on a pair of boots, but I don't need them right now. I'm not desperate. Like the, the warning light for my mower here. Yeah, it ain't snowing, so I don't need it anymore. Once it starts to snow, I'll put, I'll buy a warning light. Now this four wheeler here, if it's uh, gonna be on the road and road legal, I will need LED lights, some kind of warning light, knowing that people will see me. I mean, last year, I think it was last year, I drove all the time. People still saw me, but you have dumb drivers out there that don't see you. So, just to be safe, I'd rather spend twenty, thirty dollars on some kind of warning light. I mean, it's a bright red machine. It looks orange in the picture, but it's red. And um, just to be safe, I'd rather have some kind of flashing light. I asked, um, oh, what was it, Crystal, and how much she'd sell my four wheeler for. She said uh, at least nine hundred to a grand. We paid a little more over a grand for it, or at least my dad did. And we put a little money into it, not like tons of money, probably like at least a hundred or two into it. I think I don't know. I think I don't know. And then the time I redone all that carburation at least 600 fucking times sorry and um, painted the back rack and the front rack and the push bumper here and the little guard you know I want at least if I was selling it right now I'd say at least 13 or best yeah that's what I think I would say but it's not for sale but if it was, I'd say 13. But if I was taking it to a dealer, I'd, you know, I'd have to go a little bit down because it's a dealership. They have to turn it around and sell it as well. But again, they'd sell it for two grand. So, my time is running out. Uh, I got more stories to tell you, so just uh, hold on a minute and I'll get back to you. So, uh, take care. Talk to you later.